today we're putting in a, uh, or we're actually planting a tillage plot where we ran a soil finisher with different shovels on it and we ran, uh, if you want to think of it, high speed disc, like the K330 Turbo, and then we took a vertical disc, a vertical harrow like the Terramax and run it at zero, four, and eight degree angle. And of course this spring we're kind of almost out of water everywhere. And I wanted to shoot a little video here to talk about the difference between uh, preserving that water with the vertical pro program versus the horizontal program we we'll run into. Uh, this field was tilled about a week and a half ago after the herbicides were put on and incorporated. Um, and we have had no rain since, high winds, low humidity. That's a recipe, of course, for running out of water. But at the time when we worked it um, with the finisher, at that time we had a good crust on already and it did create uh, some clots. I want to show you the visual difference between a soil finisher on top uh, versus a vertical harrow on top um, here in the, in the field, what it looks like. So this is the finisher. And you can see the clods that we blew up. Now this becomes a concern when we're trying to plant it. So how do I get this corn to moisture when I got this many clods and this much dry soil at the surface that didn't seal up for me uh, and conserve the water over the last week? And that's even a little more of a challenge when you're planting in dry soil like we are today with the Case IH row unit with the way the depth wheels are set up. It lets, lets this dry soil flow up around the disc opener and it's, it's a booger to not let that dry soil fall back in on the trends before we close it. So we do have to push this dry soil um, and these clods out of the way to get us to moisture to try to make sure we can guarantee moisture at the bottom of that furrow where that seed trench is. Now if we just cross over into the vertical harrow side, you see no clods. We got uniform moisture to the top and we're coming in here and just basically pushing off some of the surface uh, crust, some of the residue on top, and we're planting in the moisture all the way top to bottom. I'll dig some furrow cuts here to, to show you what that seed looks like parked in there as well. So here we are in the vertical till part where we run zero degree angle, and we don't have the clods on top, we just move mainly residue out of the way. The most important thing is we are sitting right on top of moisture. So right here below the surface, we have moisture top to bottom. We're not gonna have issues with this seed finding moisture. If we go back here in the trench, we can dig down, do our side cut. He's tucked into moisture nice. This guy's not gonna have any trouble. We're sitting down there at um, inch and three quarters in depth. That's a pretty sweet planting spot. Now let's compare that to the soil finisher. So here we are, just one pass over where we ran the soil finisher. We got these golden nuggets to worry about. So we have to push here because we're out of moisture. There's a lot more than just residue here. We got our soil over here, but this only way we can do it, especially with our row unit set up, we've got to try to stop as much dry soil getting down to the bottom as we can. And as we come back here and rake the top off, when you do that, you're in the shadow. When we rake the top off of this, there's not anywhere near the moisture that we had where we didn't do this tillage. So we got all these areas in here of dry soil as we go to chase the seed. And as I pull this back, you can see these streaks of dry soil that are incorporated down here. I got dry soil right down here at the trench. Here's my seed at the bottom. See that dry string of soil right through there? That's of course flowing from behind the disc openers, the seed shoot that's going through here. And we got some of this surface soil making it in. Now this is better than we were, but we're pushing as far as we can. We could go ahead and even push further, then we'd really be valleyed in, which is kind of risky for a rain. But same planter, same setting as we just saw, but when we uh, did the horizontal tillage pass in here, created the clods, caused this to dry out, we just got a lot tougher spot to plant into. 